Hi, I'm Sandy Rogers here at the Ricky Ponting Medal, the most prestigious award in Cricket Tasmania. Of course, we're celebrating a huge win in the Sheffield Shield competition. I'm joined by Jason Crazier. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? You looking sharp, buddy? Likewise. You been dressed again by Armani or? Oh, uh, yeah, just to, uh, I had so many sponsors, you know, getting thrown my way and I just decided just to go with the herringbone, mate. You? Yeah, look, I've been uh, the herringbone. Just got the Armani tie, but look, it's a big night, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really big night, obviously a very prestigious award, as you said. Uh, and I think there's going to be some pretty good, big contenders this year. There's been some really good performances. Um, obviously, the, the namesake of the whole thing, Ricky Ponting's had a great year. James Faulkner and Luke Butterworth, I reckon, are the front runners. Have you got a hot date tonight? No. Uh, I came with my future wife, and I was hoping to go with you. Uh, get your hand off my uh, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Bycroft here with me at the foyer of the Ricky Ponting medal. BBTV two years in a row. Bringing back the bow two years in a row, Jace and Sandy. Uh, I, I don't know what it is, but I love a bow tie. It's a huge night. We've been celebrating all week. I've lost my voice. Jason Craig is in on the action. How exciting has the last few days been? Tell everyone home how big it's been for the squad. Yeah, it's been unbelievable. I mean, Tim Core, we couldn't send him off on a better note. Ricky Ponning, we don't know if it's going to be his last year, but how good's the last two days been? I mean, it's been an unbelievable celebration. There's a few boys still recovering, I know that. Pikey, let, let me get the words on me. Who here, who's the best dressed here tonight? Well, I haven't really seen enough. Uh, the man over there to my to my left, Jason Crazy, he's not he's looking pretty sharp. He's looking Hates pretty sharp. Hates, Hates a pose. pose. But I haven't I don't I, to say I haven't had enough look around the room. Smokey. Probably you. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. 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 No yeah, hi, James. We're here at the Ricky Ponting Medal, mate. This may as well be called the James Falkner Medal. You've had a pretty good couple of years, haven't you? Tell you what, it's a bloody good, good prawn, this, I'm telling you. <laughs> do, you do you think you'll win the Ricky Ponting Medal again? We'll see what happens, I reckon. I'm sure everyone have a good night and celebrate the year like we should, I suppose. Have you got final words to send off, Tim Coyle? It's been a big part of your career. He's a legend when it comes to Tasmanian cricket, and, he, and I suppose that... Every player knows that, and he's been sensational for, for the whole group. Have you got a hot date here tonight? No, I'm single. There you go, ladies. James Faulkner needs a date. <laughs> and then Ricky Ponty medal at the foyer. Marbo, Bo Webster, Andrew Feckley. Drew, how are you feeling, mate? It's been an awesome few days for the Tigers. Winning second Shield final in three years. You look a bit worse to wear, but how is it, mate? Uh, it's been a, been a very good couple of days, a very big couple of days, uh, Rog. I'm... I'm a bit worse for weird, but... Uh, we just lost Marbo as we speak. Hates the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'll, I'll plough on and, uh, yeah, great feeling, great atmosphere. Everyone's up and about, so... How's the last few days been for you, though? Awesome for the Tigers. I can't even hear myself talk. How are you going? Yeah, mate, it's been it's been pretty big, as you can imagine. Yeah, just duck down a little bit. It's been pretty big, as you can imagine, with the uh, with the boys getting the win on Tuesday. And um, ever since then, I don't think many boys have stopped drinking beer, so... How do you reckon Tim Coyle's feeling today? His last time at the Ricky Pony Medal as coach. He's done a lot for us, hasn't he? What, what would you say to him? Um, he might be a little bit dusty after the last two days, I think, but uh, I think he's done a wonderful job. Uh, and, me as a, and me as a young bloke too, just this year been around the squad with him and uh, him and Diver and stuff with all the boys has been really good. Stella, step on in. Come on here, Brent. Brent's the host for tonight. How are you feeling, mate? It's been a big week for the Tigers. You're obviously in the media crew. What's the feeling been? Uh, it's been good, mate. It's been busy, but um, yeah, it's. Uh, oh, Am I sorry? I should know better than that. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's been great. I'd just love to see you out there next year. You've been going ripping form for North Hobart. Uh, how far away are you? Uh, I'm a little way away. Tell me, have you got some jokes? You're hosting tonight. Have you got a few jokes in store? What's pink and fluffy? <laughs> I don't know. Pink fluff. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jason Crazy here for Tiger TV, and I've got Sandy Rogers and a couple of his little minxes with him. Can you tell me where you met these two young, lovely young ladies? Jace, it's great to be on the show. Uh, I met these girls out at Tranmere, good suburb. Just there's a lot of happening out there, a lot of nice cafes and skinny lattes. Uh, what do you two girls think? Who, who, who's going to win the inaugural Ricky Ponting medal? Jimmy Faulkner. Yeah, I'm going with Jimmy Faulkner. Jason Crozier. Notice how I said ladies and uh, Sandy answered. There you go, he's a lady. Thank you very much for your time and thanks very much for all your uh, participation in my interview. Yeah, look, I've found a friend of mine. I met you in athletics about four years ago, Tim Van Der beautiful girlfriend here tonight, Emma Clark. Yep. It's pretty exciting, it's been an exciting few days. How bloody good is this? 
Oh, it's amazing. Um, couldn't great's imagine. your favourite word. Let's try not use <laughs> great over the next three minutes. Try not to use it. How amazing does M look, by the way? Very, very um, nice, very nice, very nice. And yeah, the last couple of days has been outstanding. Um, going from the position we were in the Shield and then coming out of nowhere and getting the home final and then winning the home final. So it was, yeah, all we could ask for, really. So. Yeah, well, well, what's Tim Corley got you down here? You got anything to say to him? Uh, it's appreciate everything he's done for me. I've only known him for a year, but I can see how great of a coach he is and how great of a person he is. So. And there goes and the word great. great. At the end. Damn it. You look lovely. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Ciao. I'm here with the man of the moment, the Ricky Ponting medal, Tim Coyle, his beautiful wife, Sam Coyle. What a way to be sent off this is. Yeah, fantastic, Sandy. It's, um, I suppose that, you know, all the stars aligned for what was a great game of cricket. You know, two months ago, we weren't quite sure where we were, and, and we knew we had to win those last two games, and I just, we kept our best cricket in the bank till the last you know, month of the season, which is, you know, that's what really counts in the end, so... Couldn't have been uh, happier with the result, couldn't have been happier for the players. Sam, give us a bit of an insight. How's Coyley been over the last few weeks? I mean, it's been emotional to, you know, it's incredible. How's he been? He's actually been remarkably calm. I think I think the last few days I've actually been lucky to be living in Launceston. <laughs> We're able to talk tonight. He does have his voice back, but the last time I spoke to him about one o'clock this morning, it was a long way away. His well, you'll have some speeches tonight, won't you? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll do a couple of things, but not too much. I'll be... I think I've heard enough from me, Sandy, over eight years. I reckon I'll be pretty short tonight. <laughs> uh, who are you tipping for tonight's medal? Oh, I think there are. Um, I think there are two players that are uh, probably three. I think it'll be Faulk Faulkner, um, Ponting, Butterworth. Uh, but I'd say um, I'd say Jim's probably the, the favourite. It'd be great to see Ricky Ponting win his own medal. And uh, but uh, I'd say Jim's probably the favourite. And, but I, I'm sure, you know, I think that the individual accolades tonight are important, but I still think the, the main focus would be that uh, shield that's up on the stage inside. Sam, thanks for joining us. Coyley, congratulations, mate, on what's been an amazing career. Enjoy tonight. Thanks, yep. Back here, of course, at the Ricky Ponting Medal. The night of nights, Steve Caslino, my beautiful roommate, and his lovely girlfriend, Emily. How are you feeling, Steve? It's been an amazing few days. My voice is gone. <laughs> mate, hasn't it been great? Uh, mate, I... Can empathise. My uh, my voice is almost gone as well. I've got a sore throat, but I'm here. It's going to be a fantastic night, so it should be great. Now I live with you. You didn't take more than three hours to get ready tonight. I nearly I was nearly late due to your hair blowing of the hair like hair styling. <laughs> Mate, uh, I was is this busy, all Emily's influence? I was busy doing up your tyre, so uh, I think that's probably where the extra time probably went. Now I've been asking the question around here tonight: Who's got the best looking girlfriend? And Emily's been voted about five out of six times, so... Really? How do you feel about that? You've backed it up again. <laughs> That's a good result. Yeah, pretty happy about it. Steve, I think you might have to start guarding your turf. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Just quickly, final words to Tim Coyle. He's been a great part of your career. Yep, absolutely. Tim has obviously been influential in getting me down here, and um, he's been... He's been phenomenal. He's an excellent coach. He's an excellent batting coach. He's an excellent team coach. And, you know, the legacy that he'll leave for, for Tasmania is, you know, something that'll be remembered for a very long time. Thanks very much, guys. You look great. Have a, have a beautiful night. Yeah. Now, this is what I've been waiting for all night. The G. Roo, Jordan Silk, and his beautiful girlfriend, Shona, joining me here at the Ricky Potting Medal. Jordan, let's talk about you first. Mate, you moved down here from the back of Penrith, bottom of the Blue Mountains, and you've just won a Sheffield Shield final, mate. How does it feel? Yeah, words, words can't describe the feeling at the moment. Um, I think it'll sink in probably when I head back home this Saturday and, you know, just sit down and, and relax for a couple of months. I think the, the feeling will sink in. But, yeah, special couple of, special couple of weeks, really, the last, the last few weeks have been. And you know, I'm just thrilled to have been in a, a team that's been so successful over the last decade. So, very lucky. Shona, how's it been without him at home? Obviously, you live back in the Blue Mountains or Penrith. Have you missed him? Blue Mountains. Yeah, a little bit, but um, get used to it. It's been all right. Yeah. Now, we were talking to Emma, Tim's girlfriend, before, and she said she's converted. She's now a Tasmanian supporter. Would you say the same? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Silky, you've scored two hundreds in three games, but let's talk about Tim Coyle. He got you down here. It's his final day as coach. Have you got some words to say to him? Um, yeah, obviously can't be thankful enough to, for what Coyle's done for... For my season, uh, and yeah, to, to be down here and, and celebrate this this with him is something pretty special, and something I never thought it would 
would kind of happen. I know it's cliche, but it is. No, you don't dream of these common kind of moments, and you know I'm just glad that the team could perform well in those last three weeks and and bring him home the the Sheffield Shield title he deserves. So a fitting way for a, a true champion of the of the game. So uh, all the, all the best, Coyley, in your retirement. Uh, look forward to keeping in touch. Well, guys, thanks very much for joining me. Have a great night. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks, mate. <laughs>